Now joined by Stinton head coach Mike Kennison. Coach, another close contest. Michael Manley gave you an outstanding performance on the mound. Your team able to come out here with a round one victory. Your overall thoughts on how you guys opened up the region? Well, you're always excited to get game one any way you can. I thought we played well. We took advantage of the few opportunities you're going to get in these close games. You're not going to get runners on every inning and have opportunities. you got to you know, get the big hits when you need them. I thought Ben Kingsley had a nice day at the plate for us. Josh Crowdis, Brent Langston both had two out hits that drove in runs, and you might say that was the difference in the game as far as the margin of victory. Real story, though, is Michael Mann. They pitched really well, did what he's done for us most of the year. Uh, you know, took the team, put it on his back here in game one, got us that first game win, kind of gutted it out through some tough innings, and, uh, you know, really uh, so proud of him the way that at, at times the innings could have gotten more in progress, the innings could have unfolded. He was able to minimize damage, pull it back together, and, and pitch through it, especially in the ninth inning, big strikeout to end the game. Against a really good Valdosta team that uh, you know everyone knows we've had our hands full of this year. So a uh, great win, proud of Michael. Enough, enough offense uh, to be opportunistic and get the runs we need. And headed into tomorrow night's round two matchup, how the plan for you and your team going into tomorrow? Well, we don't know who we play yet. You know, the, with the uh, West Florida, Florida Tech matchup, and we'll see how that unfolds. See, you know, we, we are familiar a little bit with West Florida as they are with us, as they're a team in our conference, Florida Tech's an unknown. And it'll be our first look at them tonight as we watch that game. So whoever our opponent is, uh, you know, we'll try and do what we do and be who we are and play our best. And, uh, you know, tomorrow's another big day for us. Good. Congratulations on the opening round victory. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Thank you. Now joined by state pitcher Michael Manley and Michael got a little guide the team to a 4-2 victory with Valdosta State and Nick County. Your overall thoughts on how the team came out and performed for the opening round? Uh, I thought we had a good team effort. Everybody came out swinging the bats. We had over 10 hits. Uh, defense was good. Other than one inning, we were sort of shaky, but it was a team win. I mean, we I, I threw strikes. I tried to hit my spots. I mean, I left a few pitches out over the plate where they could handle, but other than that, I thought it was a good team win. Kind of on the mound late in the game, but I was able to get a couple of runners on, but you and the defense able to kind of bear down a little bit, it'll go to the victors. Talk about how good it is to get that Valdosta off your back and guys move forward now into round two. That's uh, what we came here to do was win that first game and we finally got that off our shoulders. I mean, they did, they have beat us four times this year, but we're glad to come out here and get the first win out of the way and in the regionals, especially against Valdosta. That was a good win. So what does this team have to do? Keep it going, going in tomorrow and throughout the rest of the regional. Uh, just keep hitting, play defense, and hopefully our pitchers throw strikes and if everything like that jails, we'll be fine. This is the third time you faced all us, third time you kind of shut them out. Kind of, what makes you successful against the Blazers? So? Well, I, I just try to hit my spots. I mean, pitch, pitch to uh, the mitt. I mean, they sort of helped me out. I mean, they hit ground balls, hit pop-ups. I mean, get themselves out. So. Right, the favorite time. Congratulations on the win today. Thank you.